In this video, we are going to have a look at the ASRock Z790 PG ITX TB4 motherboard. Let's have a look what kind of specs it has. It comes with 10 plus 1 plus 1 power phase, PCIe Gen 5 main slot, and also 3 M.2 slots, that's uh, PCIe Gen 4. But what I'm noticing what is piquing my interest is this Thunderbolt 4. Yeah, this motherboard comes with two Thunderbolt 4 connections. That is awesome. We are definitely going to check it out. So let's open it up and see what comes in the box with this motherboard. this to the side okay oh we have some goodies let's see this is a phantom gaming keycap we got some velcro straps very nice to have if you like doing cable management what is that? Oh yeah, that's the thermal pads for M.2 SSDs and VME SSDs. And of course, this motherboard comes equipped with built-in Wi-Fi, so you get an antenna. Unfortunately, this antenna, it does not have a magnet on the back, so you have to use a sticky pad to actually, you know, if you want to attach it to something uh, like the side of your PC case or top of your PC case. Look, this is metal. It does not connect. Yeah. Um, I really wish, I really wish there was a magnet here. What else? What else? We've got two SATA cables. That's pretty standard. Uh, another thermal pad for NVMe SSDs and a couple more screws for the M.2. Of course, the manual. Oh, look at that. Get a postcard from ASRock and also a pretty nice sticker. It is thick and it looks good. And here is the motherboard itself. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I've already went ahead and pre-peeled uh, the protective plastic over here. So I can grab it with one hand and remove it like so. And also there is a little bit here as well, protecting the IO shield. Let's check out the IO on this thing. Yeah, HDMI, DisplayPort, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Type-A, USBs, and of course that uh, Thunderbolt 4 connection 1 and 2, that's uh, Thunderbolt 4 slash USB 4, 2.5 gigabit LAN, Wi-Fi 6E, microphone, audio, and of course this I.O. shield comes pre-installed and reinforced with a bracket. Nice. Oh, and look here. We've got some ventilation. Yeah, check this out. This is actually... There is a fan inside over there. So these holes are actually serving a purpose. And here is that motherboard from the top. Very nice. It has a lot of metal here to cool the VRMs. Check it out. This whole thing is metal. And as I said, there is a fan inside of there. So, yeah, that's additional cooling. It looks very nice. 
Look, even the top VRMs, they get they get a chunky heatsink. And in terms of power delivery to the CPU, you get a single 8-pin connector. But what about the fans for the case fans and uh, and the CPU coolers? Let's have a look how many of those we have on here. It looks like just these three guys at the top. Yeah. There's something I would like to show you. Check out the light reflecting off of that. Yeah. This is a pretty cool effect. Rainbows. The build quality on this motherboard is insane. Look at that. Everything is solid metal and the ports are reinforced. The DR ports are also reinforced. And there is a backplate. Yeah. Awesome. And as for the uh, M.2, you get one under here, but also, yeah, you get another two at, on the back. Look at that. So it's a total of three NVMe SSDs that you can uh, uh, connect to this motherboard. But in terms of SATA, you only get three. Three SATA connectors. And next to it, you get that, uh, you know, fast USB connection for the front panel. And just a regular USB connection. The DDR5 support is up to 7000 plus. And of course, this thing does support LED, so you get addressable LED connector over here. Overall, I think this is a very cool little motherboard. Let me know, what do you think about it? Do you like it? Are you planning on buying it? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.